always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Rain continues not only here across Michigan, but across much of the eastern United States as this low continues to slowly drift northward. Some steady rainfall, especially south and east of Grand Rapids, but notice there's more that continues to develop out over the lake. We are not done with the rain yet. It will continue through tomorrow morning. As is evidence here at the Grand Rapids Cam, even when we're not seeing steady rain, there's still some areas of drizzle uh, that continues to keep the ground wet. We're right at about a half inch of rain so far today in Grand Rapids. Higher amounts to the south, over three quarters of an inch in Kalamazoo and Battle Creek. Uh, basically south of I-96 is where we see more than a half inch of rain. We may see a flare up in this precipitation overnight. That's as the low pressure center is expected to deepen. That's going to do two things for us. First of which is uh, perhaps expanding some of this precipitation and we're already seeing some evidence of that. But as you head into the afternoon though, it looks like that rain will come to an end, begin to drift eastward. We'll be left with a cloudy skies, may even be able to break out some peaks of sunshine before sunset arrives tomorrow at about 822. Saturday is looking much nicer in the way of sunshine, essentially from start to finish. Uh, with temperatures running pretty close to average in the upper 50s. In terms of your weekend forecast, it gets even better for us on Sunday. We may see some morning showers and storms, but the afternoon highs are expected to climb to 70. You'll notice before that, though, we have these two icons. Windy tomorrow, breezy on Saturday. We're focused on the wind potential for tomorrow. We're already seeing gusts close to 20 to 30 miles per hour. That's going to really be ramping up through the day on Friday. Wind advisory kicks in at 8 a.m., continues through 2 a.m. Saturday. Wind gusts will likely be in the neighborhood of 40 to 45 miles per hour by tomorrow afternoon. See the winds continue to pick up coming in from the northwest as that low passes off to our east. Uh, by tomorrow morning, the morning commute, many locations likely between 30 and 40. As you head into the afternoon, that becomes closer to 40 to 45. A few communities, especially along the lakeshore, may see occasional gusts close to 50. It's not until we get into the day on Saturday where that wind does subside some, but it is going to remain breezy with those gusts as high as 20 to 30 miles per hour through the day on Saturday. Your eight-day forecast has near average temperatures for both tomorrow and Saturday, our average high this time of year in the mid-50s. So we are well above that through most of next week, beginning on Sunday. Now, that does come along with some unsettled weather, some periodic chances for showers and thunderstorms, as we would expect this time of year. But to get five days in a row of 70s is certainly going to be a first for us this year. And I think it's something that a lot of folks, including us in here in the tracking center, are looking forward to. That's exciting to see. Just it is. Those numbers. Spring is here. <laughs> Spring is sprung. <laughs> right there. Yeah. Right. Love it. Blake, thank you.